welcome to TM Farms. Uh, today we're just gonna be changing a uh, seatbelt buckle on a 2000. Right now we're trying to get access to the back of the seat so we can uh, get out the buckle. So, uh, yeah. Drive three eighths or quarter? Quarter. Quarter. You gotta get off of that. Are you aware of that? Yeah. Where do you want these? Up here? I don't know yet. I gotta see what else. Can watch out for your tool bin. I'm gonna put this down so it's out of the way. Can you move that? Yeah. You'll see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this too. I'm gonna fold it up. Is that better? That should give us some access. So one bolt there, one, one bolt, bolt there. there. Okay, I'll get the impact then. Then okay. we need the 15? Yeah. Awesome. Only the best. Need the extension. To remove the seat bolt. There's one here, 15 millimeter, and another one over here, 15. Right side. Next. Then next, we have to put the seat up, so you may want to just move. Okay, this is the right side, correct? Yeah. I'll try it. Guide it there. Watch that. That's good. This is our broken seat belt that we're trying to fix. There you see it's crushed. You can't actually push this in. Okay, so then you come around to the front of the seat. It's two bolts here. I'm just gonna undo these and then the entire seat's gonna rotate back so we can access the last two screws. So here we go. Bad. 
that is an example of how not to strip the nut head. AK, have two hands on the. And we're just going to tip the seat back. And there's another bolt there. And another one there. there. Do this one here first. Can you hold that up as well? Is that possible? We have access. Okay, let's get the 50 T50 Torx. Nice Minnesota pneumatic extending slash flex ratchet. We are no way or shape or form sponsored by them, but if they want to, just hit us up. Lefty Lucy, Torx T50 bit, hold the seat down. Okay, we can shrink this up now. So that is the broken seat belt. As you can see, it's all bent here and crushed at the top, as we said earlier. I'm gonna go and that's the difference in between them. And when you install this, you need to get this hook right here in this hole right here into that. Okay. So. I would say it would go like that. everybody and uh, for those other Millennials out there. <laughs> sure. Is it in? Miss okay Boomer. It has to be in uh, to my standards. Uh, I'll uh, get a good angle there. That little hole there as you can see that's where that uh, uh, roof has to be sitting. So I guess we can go ahead and reinstall the seat now? Yeah I think we can. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan, Sam. So first of all, we're going to rotate this back down. What was that? Uh, a half of a... Oh, so we broke the seat? Yeah, we probably broke the seat a bit. Where's that broke go? the cover here. Snap. Alright, so... We'll have to order a new one of those. We'll have to order a new one of those. As those just screw on, those are just plastic feet. See if there's anything blocking it from behind. No. So you want me to just try to put a bolt in? This won't line up. That'll line up. Let go. 
Give me the light, please. Yes, sir. Go ahead and reconnect these ones down here. Yeah. Up, it just doesn't want to go in there. Don't force it. Might be the wrong size bolt. It could be two different sizes. No, there's not two different sizes. Yes, there are. Now they got the same size head, but they got different size threads. The air conditioning compressor is back there, so that's probably. <laughs> Holes up, are they lined up? Or do you know? I don't think they're lined up. I got the second screw for this side in my hand. Yeah, we can see that those do line up. Jack garbage duty it looks like. There's the good old tractor, the Dwight 6210, and there's the hay baler. New Holland uh, roll belt 450. Hardcore 4x5 round baler. Okay, give that thing a little bit of a wash eh, in the summertime, but uh, yeah. Good to me. We just gotta replace that plastic part now that we broke that. Got a big pile of hay here from when we jammed up the hay baler. It got all jammed up. All up in that auger, we got it all nice and clean. We still have a round bale in the back there. But uh, yeah, let's gotta go back on. 
We'll make a video of that, with that later, but uh, yeah. Roll up the window there, and then uh, I have to squeegee this all out. Open up the garage door here. Anyways, thank you for watching uh, TNM Farms, and we'll see you in the next one.